This tutorial will show you how to draw a city street in two-point perspective. You use two-point perspective when you're looking at the corner of a street or building. So none of the walls are straight on. If they were, you would need to use one-point perspective. If all of the walls of the buildings are going back into the distance, then the areas that are further away will look smaller and you'll draw the walls as trapezoids. So to begin, place your paper in landscape orientation horizontally and then draw the horizon line. This represents the division between the land and the sky as well as the eye level of the viewer. So if there's a building that's completely below the horizon line, you'll be able to look down onto the top of it. And if a building crosses over above the horizon line, you would not be able to see the top of it because it's above your eye level. So on your horizon line, you can draw two vanishing points. They could be anywhere, but it's a good idea to put them near the edges of the paper so you'll have a lot of space between them for drawing your buildings. Now you can draw two converging lines leading to the vanishing points and meeting in the middle. This creates the beginning of a street corner. To show the sidewalk, draw two more converging lines, and if you want to make the sidewalk look more detailed, you can add a little ledge. Next, to make the first building, draw a vertical line to represent the corner of the building that's closest to you. Leave a little bit of space between the sidewalk and the beginning of the building and make the line go almost to the top of the page. Since this building will be the closest to you, it should look the tallest. And as the buildings start to get further away, and as they get closer to the two vanishing points, they should appear shorter and smaller. To make the walls of the building, Draw converging lines on the top and bottom connecting to the vanishing points on both sides. It doesn't really look like a building yet because the walls go on forever, so if you cut it off with a vertical line on the right and a vertical line on the left and erase the extra lines, it starts to look like a tall and narrow building, like a skyscraper. Next, try drawing a really short building that's completely below eye level so you can practice how to draw the top of a building. Again, you're going to start with a vertical line to show the corner of that little building that's closest to you. And you've got to show how the walls go back into the distance on the right side and the left side, so draw converging lines on the top and the bottom. And again, decide how far back you want the building to go and cut it off with a vertical line to represent the back edge on each side. But now you have an extra step. How can you draw the top of the building? Well, starting at the place where the back edge and the converging line meet, you're going to draw another converging line going toward the opposite vanishing point. Do that on both sides, erase, and now you have a little building that you can look down onto the top of. So now, let's draw a building that's close to the first building. Start with the corner of the new building that's going to be closest to you, making it fairly close to the skyscraper so there will be some overlap. And, same as before, connect the top and bottom to the vanishing points on both sides, and cut off the back with a vertical line. This time, you can't actually see the cutoff line on the right edge, but we know it's there, it's just that it's hiding behind the skyscraper. So now we have three buildings. Let's try drawing some windows on the new building. Since the wall is going back into space, the windows on it will be too. So the top and bottom will be converging lines, and the right and left will be vertical like the building's corners. To draw a door, the top would be a converging line, and the sides would be vertical, just like the windows. You can add details as you like. And there you have your simple city street corner in two-point perspective.